What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate High Device Fits, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys an update on the current jailbreak situation for iOS 7.0.4, 7.0.5, .0 and 7.1. And the first thing I wanted to talk about is iOS 7.0.5. Now Apple did release iOS 7.0.5 to specific iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C models. So again, not every iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C model is going to see this. It depends on where you are on the world. So basically, if you do see it, you can now jailbreak it using the latest version of Evasion. So the Evaders did update Evasion 7 to support the latest iOS 7.0.5 version. However, most of you guys probably will not be seeing this update. And you can check by plugging your device into iTunes and it will pop up. And if you do want to update, you can update and jailbreak it using the latest version. But it is a very small update. And again, only some people are getting it. So if you're currently jailbroken on 7.0.4 and you want to update to 7.0.5 and then jailbreak, do not update in settings general software update because you're not going to be finding it there. And the reason for that is that over the air updates do not work on jailbroken devices. So if you guys do want to update to 7.0.5 and then jailbreak, you have to plug your device into iTunes and click update there. But again, it's only available to some people in some areas and again, it's a very small update. So all it really fixes is just this carrier bug that some people were experiencing in China. That's all it fixes again. And the next piece of information I wanted to talk about is iOS 7.1. Now, the firmware is rumored to be released on March 15th, which is coming up, so definitely avoid that update. It's definitely going to patch the Evasion 7 jailbreak, meaning you're definitely not going to be able to jailbreak iOS 7.1. So again, as soon as 7.1 is released, supposedly on March 15th, do not update. So just stay on 7.0.4 or 7.0.5, again, until any more news is released. And if there is any news, of course, I will update you guys with a new video and on Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put the link down below in the description. And the reason that we know that Evasion 7 is going to be patched in 7.1 is because some of the previous betas did patch it. The first few were okay, but then they started to patch it more and more with each beta. And now it is completely patched in the latest beta 5. So again, as soon as it's released, it's definitely going to patch Evasion 7, so do not update. Now, 7.1 does actually bring a fair amount of new features to iOS 7. It's rumored to unlock the iOS in the car feature. That's not confirmed, but you know it is severely rumored. And the thing that it is definitely going to do is it's going to speed up your device. It's going to speed up the animations on your iOS device and hopefully less crashes. It's just supposed to be a lot more stable than iOS 7.0.4 and below. But again, do not update because it will patch the jailbreak. And if you guys do want faster animations, you don't have to wait till 7.1 or even update to it. There is actually a current Cydia tweak that will do that. It's called No Slow Animations. And you may have already noticed when I open and close apps, as you can see, it is significantly sped up than the normal time. And if you guys go into Cydia, there is a tweak called No Slow Animations. And what it does is it allows you to set a custom animation time for iOS. And again, this is without iOS 7.1, so you guys do not have to lose your jailbreak in order to speed up animations. You can do it with this tweak. And once you have installed the tweak on your device, what you guys do is go into settings on your device and scroll down until you see no slow animations. Go in here, and here you can set your custom animation speed with this bar, and it just works really well. Again, you can speed up your animations to whatever degree you want to. And again, this tweak is actually free, so definitely go grab this. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is downgrades. As soon as iOS 7.1 is released, the only device that you're going to be able to downgrade is the iPhone 4. Every other device is not downgradable. You're not going to be able to go back to 7.0.4 from 7.1 on any device except for the iPhone 4. And that is only if you have SHSH files saved. And basically SHSH files is what allows you to downgrade. It's the ticket for the firmware that you want to go to. And I'm going to be showing you guys in just a second how to fetch the SHSH files so you have them if you do upgrade and want to downgrade. It may take a little while for the downgrade to be released. And if I were you, I would actually just not update at all. I would completely avoid the update entirely. And again, you could use that no slow animations to speed up your device if you want the speed. So again, just don't update at all. But if you really do want to try it on your iPhone 4, you will be able to downgrade at some point in the future. But again, still don't update. I would not recommend ever updating until there is a 7.1 jailbreak, which is unknown. And the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, and the iPad Mini with Retina display don't even use SHSH blobs. So you, so you can't even save SHSH blobs for these devices. And again, they're not useful on any other device except for the iPhone 4. But with these three devices, you cannot even save them at all because Apple stopped using them. But again, for other devices such as the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, of course the iPhone 4 is very useful, the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad 4, the iPad 3, the iPad 2, 
in the original iPad mini. You can save them and they may be useful in the future, but again, there's nothing guaranteed. But you still should save SHSH files for any of the devices, of course, except for the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, and the iPad mini with retina display because it's impossible on those. And especially the iPhone 4 because that will definitely be useful in the future. And so I'm going to head over to my computer and show you guys how to save SHSH block. And with your device connected to your computer through the USB cable, you guys will need to download one program. It's called iFaith. And of course, the link for the program will be down below in the description. So the link will look like this. It's just ihatesnow.com and just scroll down once you're here until you see iFaith version and then it'll have a number right here. Just download iFaith right here and once you do have it, it will look like this. And what you want to do is right click on it and select run as administrator. And then click allow and once you're in here just click OK. And then select show available SHSH caches on server. So click this button and just give this a second to recognize your device and you should get this pop-up. Now if you do not get this pop-up just remove your device from the USB cable and plug it back in and then once you do get this pop-up just select yes and just give this a second and you will have these options and what, what you want to click is the first one it just says fetch, fetch the latest SHSH blobs Apple is actively signing so click on that and just give this a second and it's going to fetch all the latest SHSH blobs as you can see there's 7.0.4 that is very important. Now you see all these other SHSH blobs for 7.1 betas. Those most likely will not be useful, but you can always save them. It's always useful to save as many SHSH blobs as you can. You just never know when they may come in handy. And something else you should know about SHSH files is you can only save them when Apple is signing the iOS. So for example, we just saved 7.0.4 because, again, Apple is currently signing that, meaning they are allowing you to restore to it. So that's why all those other 7.1 betas that I just talked about were showing up because Apple is currently signing those. And it doesn't matter what your device is currently running when you're saving SHSH files. It'll, when you do this, it'll just save every single SHSH file that Apple is currently signing. So again, it doesn't matter what your device is currently running. Most of you guys will probably on, be on 7.0.4, but again, it doesn't matter. Anything that Apple is signing, this program will fetch. And it's very good because you want to have everything that Apple fetches and you want to save everything just so you're ready for the future. And anyways, once it's done, you will get this pop-up. And as you can see, it has saved 7.0.4, and it's going to be listed as 7.0.4 BGM. That's exactly what you want. Just click OK, and just give this a second, and close it. So just click the little X. And now the SHSH blobs are in the following location. So just open up Windows Explorer, and go to your main folder, your name folder, and you will see this .shsh folder now. So double-click on this, and here are all the SHSH files. And you can't actually do anything with them, however, they will be useful for other utilities in the future. Other utilities will ask for them, and then you could point to this location on your computer when the utilities ask for them in the future. So just keep them here, don't delete them, and again, make sure you have them all saved. There's 7.0.4, this is the most important one right now, because of course, it will allow you in the future on the iPhone 4 to downgrade to 7.0.4. But that being said, it's still useful to do it on, on other devices. So again, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, of course the iPhone 4, which I just showed you, the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad 4, the iPad 3, the iPad 2, and the original iPad mini. And again, just because there may be a downgrade release for those devices in the future. Now, I did exclude, again, the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, and the iPad mini with Retina display because those devices don't even use SHSH blobs, so you cannot save SHSH blobs for those devices. But again, any other device you should. And of course, the iPhone 4, again, you should definitely save it because it will be useful in the future. And there will be downgrades for the iPhone 4 available. And thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps you guys, and I will see you guys later.